for all of you Hulk fans out there, yes, that is Lou Ferrigno behind the bubble. The one and only Incredible Hulk. All right, so I'm not gonna leave my truck people hanging out there. We've got Noah here with an awesome 50 Chevy pickup truck. Noah, tell us a little bit about your build. Uh, it's section three and a half inches. I cut the whole cabin half. Chop three inches. Three inch chop. Custom. Wow. Suicide doors. Yeah. Made everything on the truck. The only thing I didn't do is cover the seats. That was done by Brandon Taylor. Okay, so you do your own prefab and work and everything yeah, on the yeah, car. I did everything. This I'm guy's more. this guy's uh, got more uh, brains than money. I come from the other club. I have more money than brains, so it's it's good to surround yourself with people of that. Now, I was looking at your interior. What what is what was your inspiration for the interior? What, what color do they call that red? Uh, torch red, I believe. Uh, Thunderbird, 64 Thunderbird seats with a th 64 Thunderbird rear package tray. It's a 49 Ford Dash, 61 Impala steering wheel. 61 Impala steering yeah. wheel. These are 55 Chevy garnish moldings I molded into it. I made all the door panels. These are 63 Galaxy armrests and door handles. Check this out. Look at your door handle. That is really, really neat. That is so cool. All right, now, I'm looking at your engine up here. I got a feeling it's not stock. It, it looks redone a little bit. What do we got up here? It's a 350 Chevy small block with a 144 B&M blower. Now, if anyone's watching the channel, we all know that 350 small blocks are very near and dear to my heart. Now with the blower, what do you think you're making at the crank? It's just a stock 350, but with the blower it made 327 on the dyno. Gotcha. So not something that's gonna get away with you and she's on air, right? Right, right. It's on air ride. And you did the air ride yourself as well? Yeah, I did I built everything on the truck. Noah's a flipping badass. Awesome. Let's go around and, and take a look at the end of this truck, the back end, before we check out the front, because it just gets cooler. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, so Noah was telling me that he's got a 55 Pontiac bumper back here, and it looks like he had to do quite a bit of prefab work to kind of shave it to fit it even like that. Yeah, I had to make all that. The whole bed is all custom. Was yeah. that hard? Uh, not really. This is a 52 Buick three in my truck the bedroom. And I cut the centers out and made my tail out of Okay, so these are off the 52 Buick. Yeah. And the 52 Buick would have had the double. Uh, no, no, you did this too. That's like putting on Impala antenna. So we've got the Impala steering wheel and the cool Impala antennas. It's made up of a little bit of a whole bunch of different cars. Well, I gotta tell you, with the suicide doors, the bright red interior, the blown 350. You really stuck with an understated color, which I like. Yeah. What do they call this color? It's a Chrysler color. It's called granite crystal metallic. Gotcha. All right. I'm... <laughs> I can't even get my finger out of there. So Noah was awesome enough to show us his 1950 Chevrolet 
Frankenstein pickup, all kinds of cool parts on it. We got Impala parts, we got Cadillac parts, and thanks for the time for showing us uh, the car. Have you been having a good time at the show today? Having a great time. Even with the crappy weather? Yeah, it's nice to get out of the house. It is, it is. And remember, if you've got an awesome classic car, take it out to your hot rod show. Noah will be out there hanging out too, and I will see you in the next video.